Hello guys and welcome back to Blind Nation. And uh, on this one, what is voiceover? What is it for? Why? Or how does it help? I'm going to be talking a little bit about voiceover with the Apple iPhone. And uh, now as far as the Mac goes, there's voiceover on the Mac as well. But I don't know a whole lot about the Mac at this point. Uh, but I'm going to be, because I'm going to uh, really dive in to learning how to use the Mac. Um, I've been pondering this for years, for the last three or four years, rather. But you want to know, what is voiceover? What does it do? Um, now, you guys have heard it in my videos. You've heard it run in the background before. Um, I don't have any way to go off the video and, you know, let you guys um, hear it that way. But what I will do is just give you an idea here. Let me. Voice over on. Camera. Viewfinder. Image. Okay, so as you, as you can tell right now, if you guys listen. Now, I can't go off the video, but I'm going to. One minute. 20 seconds. Basically, I'm on the video recording with you guys right now. Um, and voiceover is going to tell me whatever, you know, whatever I'm, what, whatever screen that I'm on. So right now, obviously it's the video. And if you listen, one minute, 39 seconds, one face, it said one minute and 39 seconds. That's, that's telling me how long I've been doing this video. And that's because I had zero, one face, flicked one face, my finger face, over to that area zero, on the face, screen. Large, stop recording video. One face, zero faces. And then one face, large face, face, zero, one face, large face, face near bottom edge. That right there drives me crazy. One face, large face, face near bottom edge. Hear that? Okay. One face, large one face. face. It's telling me that, you know, the camera can see me. So let me turn this off for a minute. Voiceover off. Okay, so basically, uh, voiceover is used for those of us that are visually impaired or blind. Okay. Um, don't mistake this with Siri. Siri is not voiceover. Voiceover is not Siri. They are two totally different things. Uh, sighted people and blind people use Siri. Siri is not the same thing. Siri's not what reads your screen or any of that stuff, okay? Voiceover is what reads our screen to us on our phone, all right? So, uh, voiceover is used to do our text, it's used to read our emails, it's used to, uh, for, for us to be able to use Facebook on our phones, for us to be able to use Twitter on our phones, um, and every time that we flick, okay, whether it's your, whatever finger we use, I use my thumb, usually I'll flick like this with my thumb, and when I flick to the left, like that, or flick to the right, like that, um, that will read me the next thing that's on my screen that, as far as the icons on like my main screen of the phone um and i've got like three different i think i've got three screens uh on my phone with with different different apps and stuff like that but as i flick left and right that takes me through my screen uh so think of it this way starting at the top of the screen the very first uh icon or, or app shown at the very top left hand corner if i was up there and i flicked right it's going to take me to the next app that's to the right of that and if i keep flicking this is going to keep on going over to the right and then down right. over to the right and down so it covered my whole screen um really what i what i need to do and, and i will cover this once i you know once i'm able to once i'm uh financially once i can get another device and really show you hands-on about voiceover but voiceover is again is used uh for those of us that are visually impaired and it honestly voiceover is way better than any other uh type of talking uh accessibility etc i think voiceover is the best now google on their androids they have talk back Talkback is similar by maybe 20%, 30%. Uh, 
to voiceover, but nowhere near as as uh, user friendly, I don't think. Um, but it's a it's a different learning curve as well. Uh, and you guys, that's what I use as voiceover. That's what I use on my video. Well, not on my video, but to you know when I'm like able to record. Without voiceover, I wouldn't be able to do none of it. So it's because of voiceover that allows me to do all this. Sorry, I was checking the light there to make sure we was good. Um, anyway, so that's what it is. If you guys have any questions about voiceover, uh, you know, feel free to ask me any questions you might have. I'll be glad to answer any questions about it. Um, and, you know, if, if I didn't describe that good enough, let me know and I'll, I'll tell you, okay? Um, but, like I said, voiceover is one of the best ac accessible ways for us to use our iPhone. And, and, and iPhone alone, Apple alone, is the most accessible, I think, that's out there uh, when it's compared to uh, all the different, you know, companies out there that, you know, design different uh, phones. And, you know, you got, like I said, Android. Uh, Android's accessible, but... I don't know if I really want to say it's not as accessible. I think it's just different. It's a different learning curve. So, anyways, you guys heard a little bit about voiceover. If you got questions, let me know. I just said I'd throw that out there. Um, and real quick about Siri and voiceover. The difference between Siri and voiceover is Siri uh, reports back to you. You can hold down the button on your phone, on your iPhone, and... You can get Siri to tell you what the weather is or to give you directions. And that's just uh, her giving you voice feedback on whatever it is that you might be uh, looking information for. Or if you're driving, sighted people use Siri. They might be driving and they'll, they'll say, you know, uh, I'm not going to say it because it, it will come on if I say the word. But they'll, they'll uh, say H-A-Y and then Siri. Uh, I'm not saying the word because then Siri will think I'm talking to it. Um, and they can send their texts and all that stuff. So that is that is what Siri is. Siri's not used for um, navigating on the phone, going through you know apps and uh, you know going on Facebook or going on email. Well, actually, Siri can read email to you, but totally different. So if anybody else has a better explanation between Siri and Voiceover, feel free to do a video and send it to me. I'd be glad to put it up here on the channel. So. Guys, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I hope that that helped you get a better understanding of what voiceover is and what it's for. Talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.